Well, I've got my uh, coat of etching primer. Use that on aluminum and to uh, etch up the surface so that paint will stick. Even though you, uh, I sanded it, I still always use the etching paint. And that variety there is uh, is Duplicolor. But I've seen Krylon make a brand too, so. Let me get my primer out and I'm going to give them a coat of uh, priming gray. Well, I have the uh, first coat of primer on the tubes. The uh, gaff pole is hanging over. I tried something uh, uh, by hanging it from the ceiling to paint it. And I have it hanging over there. I was using a ladder to see if I could get a better uh, finish on it because it's so small in diameter to be able to get enough strokes and I found that that worked pretty good. One thing I did today, I uh, took my uh, drill and a small pilot bit and went around and uh, made all the final holes in the pipe before I did the final painting or the primer anyway. It had, it had, had the edge coat on it but I was conflicted as to how I was going to do the boom on the end um, because of the length difference between the uh, uh, 10 foot nut hatch and the and the nine foot well, about nine and a half foot Laura Bay the way they're they're shaped and because um, the centerboard trunks uh, or the daggerboard trunks are a little bit different depending on the uh, center of, uh, of uh, uh, lateral resistance uh, because of the shapes of the hull, underwater shapes of the hull. So I was going to use a Beckett on the end with a tr double block traveler on the transom with those two hulls, uh, which I have on the, I'm using the traveler on the eight foot nut hatch. Uh, the Laura Bay, or the uh, Granville Bay and the ONP pod both use a center mount. Uh, um, uh, main sheet system but I was going to use the uh, Beckett block on the end and then I got my uh, uh, 8 foot or the Optimus sail set up out and to look at it and I had you know it's, I, I, you know the old hands you know the quarter inch line or 5 sixteenths getting pretty small and I can pick up a pretty pretty, pretty reasonable quality 3 8 inch poly rope uh, that's more than adequate but for some of these smaller uh, uh, blocks uh, they tend to you know probably oversized uh, and the Beckett I didn't like that because there was you know one coming down and then come back up and they're real close together in there and uh, so I was looking through what the hell's the name oh Royce I was Royce's little Bible I've got that must be God 50 years old now and I was looking at some of the rigging setups on those boats and I the snipe had one which had uh, over here it had a <laughs> here we go a fitting on the end to tie off and then it came down to the traveler and then back up to another block and then off to the mid boom block and I, I like the way that has uh, space between the attachment points so that the line has a little bit more looseness of, of running and it's not on the Beckett by having to come down and then back over the top again <laughs> and then out. Uh, I think there's going to get line slapped in there and then this won't. So I, luckily I had another one of the little eyes uh, that I bent. And I thought I took a video of that. Maybe I didn't. Well, it's a new day, and have all the uh, tubes all painted. So now uh, we got the, our initial uh, etching paint that we had. You know, that we sprayed on over the cleaned and sanded aluminum tube, and then we put two coats of primer on it, and then three coats of the uh, of the white paint here. It's a flat white paint, so uh, I like that. So it's not going to shine in my eyes when I'm when you're looking up. Um, let me go ahead and get everything off the, uh, I took some of my grip equipment and set my, uh, 
masked up so I could paint it and the same with a little thing on the end here with the uh, the boom I was able to get some parts together and keep it off off the workbench make it a little easier to clean so let me clean some of this stuff and put it, other things away I guess we'll start with the uh, the gaff pole and this is up near the flying end and this is the top because of the way the forks are going and I got my little um, eye here pad from uh, Chalkdown Duckworks I can't remember it's the uh, half inch one I believe half inch high half inch wide uh, but I had to uh, cut my if you can see that or not in order to get down in here so where I'm not drilling you know I wasn't getting into my uh, my yoke uh, I had to cut them down so it takes a little finesse to get them started in the hole without the point on the end so those are in now I can do the ones on the other side I had all these bags separated with their each little part and screws um, in order to finish this off I'm gonna have to steal another one of these or wait until um, I get uh, some an order in with Chuck but I have one of these on an old uh, uh, sprit pole let me go ahead and do this and we'll go to something else I did something else with these two is that because this will be elevated uh, I offset them so this one will when it's setting up on the mast will catch the uh, the uh, gaff throat halyard on the top and then this one on the bottom will be in closer to the mast and it will catch the uh, the throat of the sail with that big um, quick link the way I showed you the other day on the sail Oops. okay so I've got the uh, this one here and I need to screw it down a little bit more well is on the underside let me on the underside of the pole and so the line will come up around it and lift like this this will be what lifts up the pole and there's also another one up here on the end which will be on the on the top and so the sail from underneath the, uh, the peak of the sail will come up around and go through that one so the downward forces will be pulling through the pipe and not on the screws and then I've got a little cap here that I got a little plastic end cap for one inch tubing there we go okay now I got a nice little cap I've got one for the end of the boom and I got one for the top of the mast too to give it a nice nice finish and seal out the water and the boom gets its plug cap I'll go ahead and put on my little hangers here for the blocks on the end of the boom Remember we drilled small pilot holes, so I had to open up these a little bit bigger for these bigger screws. There. So now I got my, this will be the cord for pulling out the, uh, the clue. For part of my out haul. Now I'll flip it over and put in the uh, parts underneath okay now I'm going to put on the two eye eyes at the end these are the ones that I had to, to reshape to fit around the uh, pipe so. rattle those guys on I put them on this way as opposed to this way uh, it makes it a little more complicated with the blocks I use but I wanted to get them in so when it's pulling it's pulling on the screw sideways instead of trying to pull up pull the thread out but as hard as these are going in I don't know if they would ever pulled out or not but better to be safe than safe. Yeah, at least 
snap. Okay. I tell you, this old Milwaukee M12 is a. Greatest thing in the world. Got one couple more things to put up. And we have another one of these down here in the middle of the boom. This one will go down into the uh, the eye behind the dagger board trunk. Yeah. tie down the, uh, the sail, the end of the sail, the clue of the sail for our alcohol. Okay, we'll rattle on. Give that a test a little. Yeah. I got one little screw down on the end to hold the uh, that wooden insert into the uh, the mast, and I put it someplace, and I can't find it right now. Oh, I have my pilot holes in here, so I'm gonna pour them out to 964. Now I can put in my RL 318s. And my little, uh, what are these tool fives, I guess. And I've got one more thing to put in. That's our cap on the end here. There. All nice and finished off. The parts are all installed. I can somewhat test um, this, their rigging out. I'm going to get some rope tomorrow. Um, nothing expensive. I can, they've got some really nice uh, polypro uh, rope, 3 8 100 foot for, Fred Meyer has it for like under $10. So for me that's more than good enough. Uh, you know, if I was going to sail more often then uh, I can always upgrade to a better rope later on, but you know the mast and everything has all got good, good parts from Chuck, so that's all upgraded. Mm -hmm.